many businesses and an apartment complex severely damaged by the storm there in the Fairfield area. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is talking to residents impacted by the storm. He's with us now with their story. Stefan. Well, Jim, the destruction is something you just have to see to believe. It showed you just how powerful an EF, this EF2 tornado was that literally sent debris like this flying, and it almost killed one woman who was trapped in her car in the middle of the tornado. And I just saw it just going around my car and going around, and I thought it was going to be strong enough to lift my car up and thank God it didn't. However, it ripped the roof off this ABC liquor while five employees were inside. Bottles of alcohol unmoved by the 120 mile per hour winds. Extensive damage both here and the shopping center to my right. We're just blessed that no one was seriously injured. A blessing might be an understatement for one woman who was trapped in her car when she said the tornado came out of nowhere. First thing I saw was an awning from Express Oil Change go over my car and I took cover inside my car, I just covered my head and started praying. That prayer was answered just in the nick of time. As the tornado ended, she lifted her head up and this is what she saw. A wood stake pierced through her windshield just inches away from possibly killing her. It just hit. It was so quick and so powerful. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> she survived that. Yeah, she's uh, she's meant to be here a little while longer. New York native Denny Henry came to tow Mrs. Salter's car. He said this is the worst damage he has personally witnessed. I've never ever seen nothing like this before. I mean, everything is flattened. Including this express oil garage where the ceiling collapsed and crushed these cars. Or the KFC next door where windows were busted out and a few customers even left their meals. It's chilly and I get chills going through my body right now just talking about it because it's something that I don't want to experience again. Something that I don't think any of these residents want to experience again. Now, local authorities are going to be out here throughout the night monitoring the damage to ensure that no looting happens at this liquor store. All of the liquor is still there, so they're keeping a close eye on this. And uh, many people I spoke with today calling it a miracle that no one was seriously hurt. Live in Fairfield tonight, Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News. It's local coverage you can count on.